great. Uh, I don't know how you, to do a tired or overwhelmed. Nice. Those are a lot of smiley faces. Start by talking assignments okay i have checked out the stats and i have seen that anywhere between 45 to 54 of you submitted the assignments some of you did not submit some of the assignments and i am trying to figure out what is the problem guys what is the problem what's what are some of the blockers that you're facing when it comes to submitting those assignments the other thing I noticed is a lot, some of you were posting on Rocket Chat yesterday. So I'm trying to get a feel. Is that overwhelm? Is it that weekends are better for you? Is it that, you know, you just like the work we do so much that you want to work on a Sunday? I'm not going to ask too many questions, but I want to get a feel of where we are at, especially if you did not. I want to know, and this is not a shaming thing, I want to know what are some of the blockers that you had to submitting your assignment, okay? So, good. Before we begin, I'm going to ask anyone And person to tell us, oops, anyone? Okay, good, thank you. And the little, great. So, this is a safe space. So, Kate, I'm gonna start with you. And Michael Darko, thank you for raising your hand. I'm gonna start with you three. And and I need you to tell us what are some of the blockers that you start us off. Hi, good morning. Um, I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi, but something is wrong. But anyway, let me just uh, update you. Um, so one of the blockers I had last week was that... Hi. Hi. Good. Um, my, it was quite hard for me to install the DVC and ML flow because oh. I had to update a lot of things. And it was quite hard to discover what the problem is. So by the time I was figuring that out, it was around Friday. Also, I can't believe I've become the person who looks forward uh, to the weekend just to sleep <laughs> and not to go outside of the house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but mm -hmm. other than that, I was able to submit my work on time. And I'm just looking at the week three challenge, and it seems doable. So okay. I am excited to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To confirm, Kate, you said you submitted your assignments, all of them? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Okay, okay, great. Uh, Zelalem? Hello, good morning. Please go next, then Michael, you go after Zelalem. Okay. Uh, last week was, I think, a little bit tough. Good morning. Last week uh, was, I think, a little bit tough than week one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it had, a, I think, much uh, less code part, the technical part. But I think I underestimated that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mm -hmm. put a lot of time to understanding the concept, the statistical concept, mm -hmm. especially on the sequential okay. part. Mm -hmm. So I spent a lot of time that I took too much time from the expected uh, code share of part. So I think that was one challenge that uh, made me late. Uh, the okay. other part is I didn't unlock it enough time for the report, so the, I submitted it late yesterday evening. And the other challenge that I faced was the, there were frequent power cuts on my side, more frequent than the other weeks. So that was uh, a problem okay. that I didn't anticipate. So that was, okay. uh, these were the challenge. The other thing was, uh, 
I didn't also think that we need time to experiment since there were there were new tools like the DVC ML flow. So setting up them also took a lot of time, uh, handling errors on the installation and some other things. It took a lot time than much expected. But overall, I've gained, uh, I think, a good experience for the coming 10 weeks, mm -hmm. how to allocate my time, how to set priority, mm -hmm. and uh, how to finish every task with the minimum requ requirement needed and coming back to improve them. Mm -hmm. So I hope this week I'll have uh, my Sunday fr free and mm -hmm. submit every assignment on time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. And I particularly like uh, the last bit you mentioned about the lessons you've learned and how you are going to apply them moving forward so you're able to do your assignments on time next time. So thank you. For letting us know a little bit, okay? okay. Great. Uh, all right, then we'll to you. Hi, Michael, good morning. All right. Good morning. Yes. Um. Uh, last week was um was a uh, kind of a, a dicey um situation. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. I said last week was kind of a dicey situation. Um, in the sense that particularly since it was actually um, the the report was actually uh, uh to be about the um, A B testing and stuff. And with all those statistics and mm -hmm. everything involved, so the you 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 read it and it seems like you've gotten it. Then you try to you try to work it work it out yourself, and then you notice that no, you someone explain someone explains you get it. You try to work it out, and you notice that nah, you've hit a block. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I spent most of the time trying to figure out uh, these statistics and all that in the even though I saw some code which worked, but I didn't actually want to copy a code which worked into my repository and then write something about it whilst I don't actually understand it. So eventually, I got to a point I realized that, okay, this is a learning process. So once I'm not getting um, that um, statistical knowledge to be able to put a comprehensive report, to put together a comprehensive report on this, um, it, it, it's, it's like, you still have to continue learning and for me i felt that the time allotted for me to just learn um, learn or about the ab testing with the machine learning and all that wasn't enough well, like a week wasn't enough for me so uh, for me the, um, the learning process continues but the sad part of it is i i couldn't submit my my report because i actually didn't know how i'm going to write about all those statistics things that i don't actually have a grasp on it so but i submitted the the link for my um github repository which um which had the codes i've written for training of the um for training uh, for uh, training of the models and stuff so um that's uh my whether it's i think my bittersweet story then mm -hmm. uh, so let's just talk for a second about challenge that you've said you have okay uh, with the whole sure. lack of grasp thing uh do you feel like you have grasp on it now do you think it's time you need do you feel like it's what you need what do you feel like you need to get where you need to be well in, in actual sense i i think is a is a good thing for me because when you when you get to the gym and you don't feel the pain you're actually not working out so once i get to a point where i realize that look you've put in the effort you are not getting it put in an extra effort go the extra mile even if it's not okay still try to learn about it whilst you also look at other uh, other challenges ahead so i feel that i'm in the right environment to learn even though i don't have i don't actually have the comp I do, i'm not at the um, level where i would expect myself to be but i'm in the right environment to learn and that's an advantage and i can still um, learn about it Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It sounds like you've got the right attitude. And do not forget to ask for assistance if you feel like sure. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. You're Thank you. Uh, 
to go with uh, Mubarak than Bereket. <coughs> I like to see more women also raise their hand. But Mubarak, please take it away. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay, so uh, from my own hand, I think with two is um, quite better for me than with one. <coughs> Uh, with one, I didn't finish much of my work. Yeah. But with two, I was able to uh, miss, submit all my assignments. So much of what we're doing with two is much of them. It's basically statistics, and they are very new to me. But the thing is, I was able to learn a lot. For example, MFLO, DVC, these are things I've never used before. And they see uh, some of those things we have to do, are things I've never, I've never encountered before. In my life. And, uh, I was able to I was able to use them. I was able to learn and at least use them. That that was big for me. I was really happy with that. Although what I did was not perfect, I know that, but to see better. Uh and I think I'm in the I, I'm ready to learn. Yeah. That's the challenge. So when I started I, I told myself that <laughs> the twelve weeks, even if I will crawl, I must I must see it to the end. Okay. Yeah. Uh thank you for sharing. But, but I have I have a I have a concern concerning the reports. That's, that's a yeah, mm-hmm. concerning the reports, there uh, there was no any link provided okay. for okay. the reports for also submit. So I asked on mm-hmm. Rocket Chat and I didn't get any response to that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll get to it. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we see. Uh, my last. In the room, maybe it's something she sh- she would be able to uh, help with. Oh, my let's go. Hello, Cindy. Hello, everyone. Hi, my let's. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, hi. Welcome uh-huh. to the report. Sorry, you're breaking me. I don't know. The link to the report. I think it's, um, the link to the report uh, to submitting the report. It's already in the classroom. What the assignment? Or how about this? I'm going to. Read. Uh, okay. Hello. Hi. We can hear you. If it's already in the classroom, it's fine. Yes, uh, it's we... already in the classroom, so they can be. Thank you, Malet. Uh, okay, um, back of, you've had that. So, what's uh, gone? Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, last week was. Uh, a bit things for me and as well uh, I'm hearing from for everyone uh, my concern is that like uh, like we try our best to do some of the things give us and uh, try to deliver uh, what we have and uh, what's my concern is like uh, we don't know which one is the best social or which one is the best practice for us I think and not learning not one of the things the good ways that you could learn is learning from your mistakes in my opinion and if uh, like we try our best and we, we deliver the things that is expected from us and then if uh, we could get uh, a solution or something like that resembles like that to submit for you it would be better that's uh, like one thing that we can follow for the next uh, assignments to come because we are learning now and we need to progress on that so this is my uh, concern, and I want to share this one. Uh, could you? There's something you said at, at the end that I'd really like to uh, to hear from you again. You said you'd really like to do what? Sorry, the thing you've asked about the the, the thing you've asked about. I, I don't, could you just say the last sentence that you yeah. said? 
like, which you think that would be helpful for you. Yeah, <laughs> one of the good things would be like we try our best to do some of the things that you give, yeah. and uh, like if we could get like a response, not just grading it and some comments, but what are the best practices that we should follow in the next uh, on the next uh, project that we are going to do? Because there are some of the things are similar and which are going to go for the next 10 weeks. And now, now we are just in week one and two. Mm -hmm. We have delivered some of the assignments. So what are the mm -hmm. best solutions? What are the best practices we should follow for the next uh, things that, like we failed to do now and learn from them and try to improve it in the next phases? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and understand you correctly. And please let me know. If I am breaking, okay? You're saying one of the things that are something? Uh, yeah, like you, we give the assignment that you gave us. Like, you are hearing me or I'm breaking? You give the assignment that you gave us. And like we have done some of the parts that we are you are expecting us to do, and we don't know which which one is uh -huh. the best part. Yeah, which which one we should follow? Do you just give us a grading system? Like so, I what, what I'm thinking is like we are in the just in the beginning of the training, like week one mm -hmm. and week two. If we would know the best practice now, it will help us uh, to achieve better in the next phase. So. Uh, like not not giving just the greatest, but what are the best parts we should follow would be better for us to go on. Okay, so you're asking about the best practice. You want to be given guidance on all the best practices so that you can follow it or something. Yeah, yeah. So on the assignments that we have submitted before. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you for sharing that. And uh, I, I don't know if uh, best practice, so to speak, there's a, a lot of different ways to do the same thing. So it's more about training tutorial rather than teaching. But if I've not understood you well, Will if because I felt like you were breaking. So if you could just type in one sentence, uh, they ask on the chat box. I'll make sure it's a so confirm. Okay, so there's that as well. Robert Sabudandi, you're asking for a tutorial on CML. Okay, and workflow that is well. Noted. Uh, I don't know if you have bells here or tutorials on. So I just want to answer what Barakat raised. And so we have this. Okay. System. I will let Yabel go. Uh, so there is this system of a badge, which is which we haven't implemented so far, but definitely that's one part that uh, we think will help in that area. It's it's not kind of giving what is best practice but more giving like who did kind of excellent in those areas. Like, for example, if it's in terms of coding, in terms of innovative analysis, um, or in terms of, you know, beautiful visualization and all that. So the, the badges that we give every week, we're supposed to be exactly doing that. Unfortunately, we were a bit overwhelmed and we couldn't, we didn't yet do it, but hopefully from this week on, we will announce the, the badge winners which means that you'll be able to see their code um, to see which we chose as like, you know, good um, overall performance in that category. Okay. Um, I feel like, uh, okay. Behigo, you typed in the chat box. So you said you need one sample. Sorry. Yabel, are you able to comment on, on those two comments? 
or you've addressed them. On uh, the ones in the chat box. So, yeah, I think that's about, what I said. Uh, one, okay, great. Not a problem then. We will go with Pehigu, then we will go with uh, Elizabeth. So okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much, Cindy, and good morning. But is there something more you'd like to Elizabeth, who else you? I just need a confirmation. Do you hear me? We can hear you. I think slightly uh, there is a delay from Cindy, maybe, but we can, I think you are. I think, yeah, I, I even wasn't able to hear her quite well. I, her uh, network was kind of breaking. So anyway, I was asking uh, the same question last time, to, uh, last time as well, and it's asked from my other roommates now, so it's kind of a good question, and we have already agreed on that. Uh, if Cindy is listening to me right now, I am. Uh, I would like to say I'm sorry. On uh, Friday, uh, I my classmates told me you were calling me, you were picking me, but I wasn't there for a minute or two, and you just picked me in that moment. And it's kind of embarrassing to be online and not, you know, kind of answer. Thank you. My internet is breaking. I have no idea why. It's supposed to be fast, but they lied. So uh, I hope you can still hear me. So uh, thank you. Is thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. So for me, I feel like Quick Two is slightly better mm -hmm. than Week One, uh, mostly because of the group work so it was easier to just find the people you need to collaborate with and bounce ideas off each other okay. um i also got like a lot of help from other people outside my group because i wasn't familiar with the machine learning algorithms so they were just kind of like helping me understand and then go through them i feel like one challenge that might have been when it comes to submitting the assignments is that if you remain like singular minded, if you're focused on getting the concepts and the code right, you might forget to work on other things at the same time, like the reports and also the non technical assignments, which I feel like maybe I, I was guilty of that. I focused so much on the code, I wasn't able to finish. Um, to, to the best of my ability, the reports and the other assignments. So it's just like something to improve on from this coming week, knowing that whilst I'm still working on code and collaborating with others, it's just important step-by-step step to kind of document what I'm finding so that it's easier to write the report. Wow, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. Anyone else who wants to go? We could have around two people. Anyone else? Yababel, you've unmuted yourself, so I don't know if there's something you'd like to add. So yeah, you there? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. <sighs> okay. This is definitely frustrating. Okay. But it's okay. What, what, what were you saying? Uh, I wanted to see you looked unmuted and I wanted to see if there's something you wanted to add. That's mm. why. But Tinsa mm. is raising her hand. No. I will, I will, yeah, and at the end I will say that, yeah, let's go to the inside. Okay. Uh, good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Good morning, Tinsa. Yes. 
Hello team, this is Tensei from the PR team. Um, I think last time um, Yati has mentioned um, that um, we were requesting you guys to follow our social media um, accounts. Um, I think some of you did. Uh, we would really like it if the remaining could do as well. And another thing would be, um, I think Yati asked you guys to send in videos um, about uh, the machine learning um, journey you've been um, through till now. It would be really good um, for us if you could mm -hmm. send that um, till next week. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to say today. Thank you. Thank you, Tinsley. You guys, please. Okay. Please submit your videos. Okay. We have about 60 seconds. Yeah, Babel, is there something you'd like to say to close us out? Yeah. No, I, I think it, it's, I, I want to say just that the most important part, for example, earlier I, I heard uh, Michael more about understanding and replying. At work, you won't have that chance. And it's better if you just submit whatever you can. And whenever you are in a group, do in a group. I think the mentality is the most important part than sometimes the work itself. Um, so if you still think some like an academic way, then in, probably you will struggle at job. So most importantly, whenever we say or you know tell companies what we do, we, we are shaping mentality not a uh, mentality to be just work re you know, re um, readiness. So you sometimes like this understanding and stuff is quite complex. There's no way that in three months that I would, I would be convinced that you would be good in any other way, in any other fundamental way. That means you will still have to learn a lot. So they don't expect that in, in three months you'll understand. I think you might pick up the skills, but that's it. The knowledge part, you really have to, you will pick it up only when you work, when you kind of apply it. So I think don't get that impression that the knowledge, you need to understand it deep, whatever. That's not the point. Three months, you know, it, it's not, it's not like knowledge is slow. So that means whatever you think, even you understand, it's misleading a little bit sometimes because the complexity is a lot. Um, there isn't just one way of understanding definitely you will be informed what you're going to be here is that you will be informed you will pick up skills you'll be able to have a conversation and kind of understand business people when they come with a problem but not like so i just want to stress that really do what is expected and try to kind of design and think about like how can i finish this thing given that this is important uh, for my client, like in that case, it could be at work and it needs to be like, you know, something has to be done. So it's within that mentality you should operate and kind of have always this mindset that I want to finish it and I want to be able to find a strategy, you know, a way to, to arrive there. And if I don't understand something, okay, maybe I will ask people, you know, how can I ask effectively? How can I articulate my questions, like the, the things that I don't understand? It is those that is more and more important. Like I would really want to stress that so more important is this articulating your problem, kind of getting from whatever, like that confusion, getting out as quickly as possible is the most important element. So yeah, I want to just stress that because sometimes people come from different angle, different mentality, which is a university mentality. And it's not a university here. It's not an academic mentality. It is much more of like a work, which is do something, you know, produce something, uh, deliver something, be trustworthy or like a reliable, be predictable. That's the that's what it is at job. Not, you know, knowledge is yes, it's important, but it's a part. Okay, I think with that, I I'm, I'm I just want to comment on that. But we will have for the week today, like the project. So there will be the tutorial, we'll describe in the tutorial session um, what's expected. Thank you so much for that, Yababel. And uh, 
Yes, the project requires you complete the tasks individually, but in collaboration as well. So guys, we will have the design thinking and informal tutorial tomorrow, but I'd like to see more of you make some movement when it comes to that non-technical assignment. Hey, okay, have a wonderful morning. See you on Rocket Chat. And Uh, wishing you guys all the best. Doodles.